previously on the next step. Emily and Michelle are now co-captains. I definitely did not see that coming. You know Atrium's a family, right? And sometimes, they only sell each other out. It's the best feeling. I'm just ready to go to regionals and win. We need to choreograph a new routine for regionals. I think we need two routines, because we're going to make it to finals. Oh. You can't avoid me forever. You're even avoiding our duet practices. I can't talk to you about this anymore. is amazing. I think it's the best thing we've done. So many intricate moves and different styles. It feels like it's kind of a projection of everybody in the next step. <laughs> All right, everybody. That was pretty good. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. I love the energy. You know what? Let's go home early tonight, OK? Oh. Let's go home. I can't believe Emily's letting us go early. This is not like her at all. We've worked really hard and we've come so far as a team. Woo! Hey, 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 where do you guys think you're going, huh? Oh. Home? <laughs> well, yeah, they did really amazing and the energy was great, so we just thought oh, maybe you yeah. did amazing and the energy was great. The energy was oh. great, huh? I'm a little shocked. I mean, they've never intervened in what Michelle and I say before, so why now? Yeah, yeah no, we're not done uh, here. What? 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 Really? I'm not staying longer. Joking! <laughs> you just kind of want to have a fun night. Yeah, we're going to hang out as friends, not just teammates. Nice. Thinking about it, we never actually all hung out just to have fun. I'm super excited for the hangout party. Pajamas? <laughs> well, if you may know, yes, they are my pajamas. And Kate's supposed to get comfortable, so. Not that comfortable. <laughs> Please, girl, I'll wear this. It's a girl! I always keep an extra pair of pajamas in my duffel bag. You never know when a surprise pajama party is gonna break out. Okay, are you guys ready to have some fun? Yeah! Okay, yeah. yeah. let's play machine. <gasps> All right. Yeah. Machine is basically just like an improv game. You get to make sounds and you get to move and be parts of the machine. We're making a <laughs> koala pajama pant making machine. <laughs> okay. I don't know what is gonna happen right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is that? Super excited to play machine. It's actually one of my favorite games, but don't tell anyone that. It's really funny to look around you and see all these people doing weird things. We're all just hanging out together as a team and, you know, just kind of like letting loose for once. Serious I'm machine. Okay, now that we're all warmed up and we're good to go, eat up, have some fun, yeah. enjoy right. your night. And get some snacks. Hey, some snacks. Yeah. All right, guys, come on. I think we should play Truth or Dare. I suggested to play Truth or Dare because I know some people are hiding some secrets, and this is the perfect opportunity to figure it out. Let's start with West. Truth or Dare? Ooh. Well. <laughs> Truth. Yes. Oh, I gotta go in, I gotta go in. What's your biggest secret? My biggest secret? Yeah. Ooh. Well, I witnessed a bank robbery before. <laughs> yeah, I actually followed him and I know where he buried the money. 
But this was a couple years ago, so I don't know if it'll still be there, but. It's very weird that he just came out and said it so casually. Okay, wow. so my turn. Mm, Stephanie, truth or dare? Dare. I think it's always safer to pick dare. I double dog dare you to go into the juice bar and use Tiffany as your hands and order some drinks for everybody. As your hands? I say we all do it. Yep. What do you mean? Yeah, let's all go. I say we all do it right now. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I'll explain it more when we're there. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. okay. Can you stop? I know. Try. Do what I told you guys to do. Don't put your arms back. Yes. Right. Now, oh. let's go. <laughs> Be good. Arms expert is when, you know, you have your hands behind your back and you have someone else play your arms. Then I have to walk on over to the juice bar and order a juice. Now when I get there, Tiffany decides it would be a good idea to put some lipstick on. Put it on. <laughs> I can put lipstick on her face, and she can't say anything about it. <laughs> right there, that's the spot. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Maybe, oh, maybe, oh. maybe more. Oh, oh yeah. Over oh, there in the corner. Oh, yeah. Right to the right. Maybe a little left. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you get it all over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah there we go. Yeah, yeah. This is what I've got. I have action adventure. I've got horror. I've got rom com. Rom -com, yeah. rom -com. I personally want to watch a romantic comedy. I want to watch a horror movie. I'd like an action or maybe even a comedy. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a competition. So whoever can show me the best dance move gets to choose the movie. Dance will solve every problem. Even who gets to choose the movie. Perfect. West first. Here we go. All go right. West. Just, go west. Gotta just. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The glutes. oh, oh. Get it, Grandpa. All right. Okay, let's get it going, West. Oh, look at those magic feet. Yeah. Too bad Daniel ain't here to see this. West is hilarious. He always comes up with the craziest moves. I have two moves. Oh, what? Two. Oh. Number one. Number one. Oh, okay. Oh. Giselle just whips out two moves out of nowhere. That's crazy. These really cool acrobatic, you know, back arch kind of things. I think she should win the dance battle. Uh, I'm not watching that long time. Uh, everyone's moves are all right, but I'm going to bring something new to the table, all right? Oh. Everyone's moves are pretty amazing, but James clearly won. Oh. Give that to James. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Okay, James, what do you want to watch? Um, definitely not a romantic comedy. <laughs> I am so worried about James winning. Last week, James made me watch a movie about a cyborg robot cop in space. <laughs> but I don't really care, so you can choose right here. I just did it because I knew she probably cared more about the movie we watched than I did, and kind of made me feel good. I think it's really sweet that James gave me his movie choice. Touchdown and tutus. Yeah! 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 I love that movie! I can't even describe it. I mean, oh, it was such a good movie. Touchdowns and tutus is an exquisite movie about a bunch of football players finding the inner beauty of football through ballet. My favorite part of Touchdown and tutus is when two football players have to drag a boat up the Amazon River. One of the players runs so fast that he goes through a time warp, magically gets turned into a dog, and all the football players have to come together and go rescue the football player from the dog pound. But then they end up digging this really big tunnel and they find this box of old football plays from like the 1800s. And it's so cute because it's where they share their first kiss and they fall in love. Now that's just great. Oh, yeah, that's just, that is great. Best movie ever. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, guys, I think we should play truth or dare again. Because only me, Steph, and Wes got to go last time. Yeah, All right. and I'd love okay, to see someone that. top mine. <laughs> okay, I dare James to kiss Riley. No, no. I don't want to see that, no. It's easy. Aww. It's not really much of a dare. I mean, I, I probably would have done it anyway. <laughs> it's nice to have everyone else know that we're in a relationship. Ew. Yes. Emily, Aww. truth or dare? Dare. 
I've played Truth or Dare a lot before, and I know it's always safest to pick Dare. I dare Emily to do the saltine cracker a challenge. The saltine cracker challenge is when you have to eat six crackers in less than one minute. It's pretty much impossible. I'm not doing that. You have to do what you're dared. No, 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 that's the game. Do it, do it, do it. Don't make me make it seven. Do it, do it, do it. I'll do it. All right. I am a little surprised that Emily agreed to do this dare. I mean, she's always so uptight about everything. No water, salty crackers, and it's Emily. All right, you got one minute. Time. You have no watch on West. You don't see this invisible watch right here? <laughs> OK. All right. Marks. And set. go. Salt. Oh. Ah. 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 She's spewing crackers everywhere. It's really gross, and like we're all trying to dodge her cracker spit. Oh. Really? Oh. 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 She's not really a goofy person, so I don't know. It just I never thought she would do something like that. Oh. Say the alphabet. Now say the alphabet. 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 It's just really nice to see her loosen up once in a while. Kind of reminds me when we were younger. I am actually glad I did the dare. It was nice to be laughed with instead of at for a change. <laughs> I don't think I ever want to see another cracker in my entire life. It's your turn, Em. You gotta go. Michelle, you haven't gone yet. Truth or dare? Truth after that. <laughs> yeah, there's no fun. Out of all the guys in A Troop, who would you want to date most? Michelle has never actually told me how she feels about me. If she says she likes me, then that tears the team apart. And if she says she likes someone else, then that'll tear me apart. Either way, this is not gonna end well. So, Michelle, who would you want to date in a trip out of the boys? I asked Michelle about who she likes because she's new, we don't really know her that well, and I kind of want to know. When she gave me that look, I don't know, it kind of reassured that there is something between us. Um, West? Oh. Obviously, I'm not going to say Eldon because that would just be ridiculous. I choose West. <laughs> I'll just make a joke out of it. <laughs> I'm not really that surprised that Michelle picked me. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a piece of West, right? Scooches, scooches. Oh, oh, oh. I know that I couldn't have told everyone that I like Eldon, but it's just hard hiding my feelings all the time. Michelle's been avoiding me ever since Emily got back. I need to know what's going on. What do you want? What Eldon and I have needs to be over. I saw the look you gave me when we were doing Truth or Dare. So what? Eldon, you're dating Emily. She's your girlfriend? I'm gonna break up with her. Eldon saying that he'll break up with Emily to be with me is what I've wanted to hear for the longest time, and he's finally saying it. <laughs> but if he breaks up with Emily now, our team will fall apart. You can't do that. Why not? Well, one, you'll break her heart. And two, if you break up with her now, you'll mess everything up for the team. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but it's definitely not over. No, it's so, not. What does everyone feel like doing? Eating. Yeah, I'm You're hungry? Yeah, I'm so hungry. Um, what about pizza? Yeah. Yes. yes. I was thinking maybe we can tell some ghost story. Yeah, yeah. But everyone's hungry. Come on, ghost story. I think what? Boys versus girls. Whoever gets the most scared buys the pizza. Yes. It's all. Someone turn on the lights. Let's do it. Be prepared to be scared. The idea of telling ghost stories is really good because there's no way the girls can beat the guys at telling scary stories. Okay, so one night, a couple was driving down a dirt road, and they had just heard on the news that a person had escaped from a mental asylum, and he had a hook for a hand. I definitely think the girls can win this competition because Stephanie's story is really good. All of a sudden, like, the boyfriend doesn't come back, so the girl gets out of the car, and just as she's about to look up... The boyfriend's hanging from the tree, and he's scraping across the roof. Yes. <laughs> heard it. We've heard that one before. Everybody's heard Stephanie's ghost story before. Yo, Wes, you got this one? I'm all you over this, bro. All right, you got it. I'm right. gonna get some snacks. Okay. We're getting pizza. I'm a growing boy. I want some real snacks. Yeah, he's like, a growing boy. Some chicken or something. All right, I want to listen to this. Okay. 
Well, before I tell you guys a story, I just want to let you know that this very dance studio used to be a chicken factory. No, it didn't. Yeah, right. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, yes, it did. It did. Wes is right. It used to be a chicken processing plant. Yeah. Look. I seriously hope we got new floors. I actually thought that was just for decoration. Yeah. This place used to be a chicken factory. Ew. All right, now it's time for my story. Back in the early 1920s, in this very factory, they were a lot of chickens. As soon as I hear the word chicken mentioned in a scary story, Riley's gonna crack. I am terrified of chickens. When I was little, I got attacked by a chicken. From that day, I have never been able to even think about a chicken without getting creeped out. Then one chicken managed to pick the lock with his beak and let all the other chickens escape, all of them. I think West is scaring the girls, definitely. Until they got on them back, except for one chicken. And one day, when the security guard was sleeping, the chicken came pecked him to death. No. Yes. There's no way. It's not even realistic, like a crazy chicken. There's nothing scary about chickens. I mean, bah, bah, that, I mean that's not even scary. To this very day, they still haven't found that one chicken. And you can even... <laughs> All of a sudden, we just see this giant furry chicken or bird or whatever it is. I don't even know. I'm so scared. I just scream at the top of my lungs. <laughs> That was priceless. A chicken bird. <laughs> James did know about my fear of chickens. And it's not irrational. It is perfectly rational to be scared of chickens. They're just freaky. You know, you guys really know how to take things too far. Riley! That wasn't funny, guys. I believe you guys owe us some pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, some pizza. With extra chicken. Extra. Extra, extra, extra poultry. I like Hawaiian, so... Hey, Wes. Nice. Get over it. Hey. Mm. Chicken. 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 We are totally going to get them back for this. Hey, right, thank you very much. I don't need any change back. Have a great night, sir. Go ahead. I'm just out. Go distract them. Have a good night, Right sir. now, we're going to get the boys back for that little chicken prank. We're going to douse this pizza with hot sauce and hopefully wash their faces, go beet red. OK, so I've been working on this new move, guys. Oh, block smells. smells. It was all my idea to bring the boys because we needed to get them back. There's a lot Wait, of spicy. Oh! Hey, boys. Hey, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. The pizza is here! Yeah! Yeah! Don't yeah. pull that in there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Dig in, dig in, dig in. I'm about to dig in. Yo, wait up. Okay. Yeah, yummy. It smells good. That has hot sauce on it. No, it doesn't. Nice. My mom used to put hot sauce on everything. I can smell hot sauce from a mile away. And it's not like it was very well hidden either. I mean, it was all over the top of the pizza. Okay. <laughs> Not only did you guys try and pull a prank on us. And fail. But you made this pizza better. <laughs> oh, man. No, we just... You know, th the prank was pretty good for girls. That, that, that stuff is really preschool for us. We do bigger and better things. Right. Yeah, this is right. some good pizza. Hey, what's going on here? What? <laughs> what are you guys doing here? No one should be here at this time. Well... I don't know what to do. I mean, I just kind of backed up. Like, I don't want to go to jail. No, no, it's, it's our day, so you're here with our teacher. Uh, Kate? Where, where'd you go? I don't see any teacher. Where'd you, well, she, where's the no, teacher? Honestly, really, what are you guys doing here? There's really, really nothing to worry about. Don't Where tell me what to worry about. And wipe that smirk off your face. Honestly, I, I'm a little bit intimidated. What did we do wrong? We were just enjoying some pizza. Why do you keep talking back to me like that? I was just answering your questions. Are sir. you trying to impress your friends? How impressive do you think it'll be when you have to call your mommy and daddy to come pick you up downtown? Yeah, I'm a little frightened. That's a healthy response. He just pulled up handcuffs. What, he's going to arrest me? OK, I don't think that's necessary. Hey. Was I talking to you? Turn around. What? Turn around. Hands behind your back. As James is getting handcuffed, I'm thinking, OK, oh my gosh, what is happening right now? <laughs> I couldn't do it anymore. 
Giselle came up with this brilliant idea to bring in her uncle, actually, and he's a cop. Did that work? Did that work? All along, the hot sauce was actually a distraction. I mean, the double prank, the prank within a prank, I should have seen coming, because I used to live for the double pranks. Wait, hold up, Miss Kate, were you in on this? <laughs> Normally, I don't like pranks, but this one was harmless. Besides, the boys need to be put in their place. All right, you guys, what do you say to a dance party? Yeah. I think it's time. Yeah. Let's go. I can't believe how much fun we had. I mean, I feel like I'm actually back in A Troop now. We got to spend a night just hanging with friends and stop worrying about regionals. This night has just shown us all that we really are friends, that there's something that connects us more than dance. All we want is to 